Okay, sorry, my phone turned off for some reason. I don't know why. So I have it on 250 volts. Let's watch the meter. I got too close. It's actually, uh... Okay, it's actually hitting the little knob. That white knob right there, which is as far as it could go. I'll show you that again. Can't go any further. So when I put it on 1,000 volts, it's between 1,000 and 5,000 volts. Uh, So I'm saying it's about 1,075 volts coming out of this 2,100 uh, capacitor. Does that make sense? Let me know. If you know, let me know. So that I, I know, you know. Because <laughs> I got this on 1,000 volts and I'm getting readings. That, that's 1,000 to 5,000 kilovolts. One kilovolt equals, where is it, right there, 1,000 volts. Okay. Now, there's the 100 in the red. That's the 100 right there. All right, so I'm about in between. I'm in between. So we're looking at what 150 100 so say uh 1025 volts 1250 volts i'll call it and uh you kind of see what it did to my uh led not led uh There's no connection in between these two elements. This is like uh, the electrons are jumping over to the other element and coming out the other line. And then when I hit this, it illuminates so free, so bright. So and it's melting the plastic. I wish I wish you could see that better, but Let's see if I could zoom in. Kind of see that blackness in there. That is melted. So a lot of power coming out. But I'm not sure what I could do with it because actually I have zero ground. That's that's the problem. This is acting as a ground to the meter. And it gives me a spark gap. But... When I touch this to here and uh, to that red wire, this thing lights up like crazy. And this needs power in one end and power in the other. So there's uh, really no ground here. But this is giving me a measurement, which is really cool.
It's just uh, crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching.